Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Lim Su Hong, the uh, resident uh, consultant, hematologist and physician in Glen Eagles, Penang. Today I'm here with you to share with you a little bit about uh, blood diseases, a disease that treated by me and uh, managed by hematologists. Today I want to share with you the topic is blood disease or blood cancer in particular. So blood cancer, there are many types of blood cancer. You know that you, you could have a blood cancer that involves the white blood cell, we call leukemia. You would have the uh, blood cancer that involves the lymph node, the lymphatic system, the immune system of the human body, which is called the lymphoma. There are many types of it, but in general they're called lymphoma. And you have blood cancer that involves the plasma cell, we call multiple myeloma. These are the common names for uh, blood cancer that we know. Okay? And in general, those are the cancer cases that are handled by us. So, some of these questions would be, um, you know, how do you suspect somebody is having a, a blood disease or in particular blood cancer? I think some of the common symptoms is like unusual loss of weight, loss of appetite, having prolonged fever, unwell, feeling very tired. Those are the uh, common presentation. And it can last for weeks to months, you know. But usually, patient will go for an opinion to the family doctors. Family doctors, after taking some history and perform a physical examination, they may run some blood tests or they may refer directly to us if they suspect unusual presentation like in lump in the neck or lump in the body or something like that. Or they found bruises over the body. So they will suspect this could be blood disease and refer to us for a blood check. And we, as usual, after talking to the patient, looking at the referral letter, we take a thorough history, perform a physical examination, and we will usually run some blood tests and based on the blood test that we found, we may order further examinations such as CT scan or imaging study or some more blood tests including a bone marrow examination if we are suspecting something like leukemia. And we may refer to surgeon for a lymph node biopsy if we are suspecting a lymphoma. And based on the subsequent investigation result, we will explain and counsel further regarding the treatment modality. As in general, chemotherapy is the main options of treatment in our cancer patient, in blood cancer particularly, because we don't have much surgery to do for blood diseases. Okay? Saying so, the treatment response nowadays with modern therapy, modern supportive treatment, and good supportive transfusion environment treatment, I think the outcome has been generally improving and patient has been getting very good outcome from that and some are actually cured from the diseases. Not surprisingly. A lot of people ask about you know why this thing can happen. I think these are a very general question and not an easy answer to them because we don't have a very good clue to it. Some some blame on the gene, but we don't see many people coming from the same family affecting by the same disease. Some say about diet, uh, exercise, smoking, alcohol, uh, some high-risk activity, this and that. I, I think these are all uh, in, in general. We don't have very clear-cut uh, cause for that. And some of these leukemia patients is very young children, you know, they are still doing school, you know, they can be just affected by the disease suddenly. But I suppose a, a good healthy lifestyle, balanced diet, proper exercise and a not so much of stress lifestyle would be very good. Build your friendship, talk to a lot of people, you know, having a good lifestyle is good. And then perhaps doing a routine yearly uh, physical examination and also a health screening would be a good idea and maybe can consider taking some of these vaccinations like hepatitis B, HPV in certain extent to prevent certain forms of cancer. I hope I can share with you uh, some useful information today regarding the blood diseases. Uh, if you do have any more questions, I think you can contact us for more uh, clarification. With that, I thank you for your attention.